This is currently the largest disk drive array available for fundable two-based computers, specifically designed for the Apple Macintosh platform. This particular drive array has 24 slots for 24 SATA drives. Those drives can be anywhere from one terabyte all the way up to six terabytes. So if you were to have six terabyte drives in this chassis, 24 drives, you would have 144 terabytes of storage as a single volume that's available. I'm going to spin this around and I'll show you what's on the back. I have redundant power supplies for you to operate. This is an on off switch, which I always leave on because when the Macintosh turns on, the driver it turns on. The first card that you see over here, this is the Fundable 2 card. I've currently got it connected to the internally mounted Mac Mini, which is Fundable 1. But in a high performance situation, I would connect this to a modern new Mac Pro, which is the cylinder Mac Pro that Apple has released, which has Thunderbolt 2 ports on it. We are looking forward to a Thunderbolt 2 Mac Mini, so we're able to get that kind of performance with the internal computer. But there is an internal Mac Mini in here. This is an off the shelf Mac Mini, which is as simple to slide in and out of the computer as these two thumb screws and then it reconnects with the Thunderbolt cable. The card next to the Thunderbolt card is a SAS Distribe Host Adapter. So we are currently using an Arica ARC 1882IX-24. This system is also compatible with the High Point 2760A, which is a, a similar RAID host controller card that's compatible with this product. We happen to, right this moment, have the Arica card Side here. It's configured as RAID 6. It works very, very well. Uh, the card next to this is a small tree 10 gig Ethernet card, which would go to a 10 gig switch. This could be any 10 gig card. We like small tree, we like Miracom, we like Atto, we like Chelsea, we like Solar Flare. As long as the card's got Macintosh drivers, it's going to work. They all have similar performance, they're all excellent products. And then, because we had the extra slot in this particular chassis, we decided to put in an Otherworld Computing SATA card, which is very inexpensive and just allows us to do quick transfers from field drives. The performance has been pretty amazing. Currently, we have only eight drives inside the system. There are eight uh, four terabyte HGST drives. Uh, we're getting about, in a RAID 5 configuration, we're getting about 750 megabytes per second. Uh, we uh, take the 10 gig card and going into a switch, we distribute that to the computers. The computers over regular gigabit Ethernet are all getting about 90 to 100 megabytes per second over conventional CAT6 cable using just one gigabit Ethernet ports. And we're able to run multiple computers off of this with only eight drives. And everybody's able to play back uh, HD uh, Apple ProRes footage without any issues whatsoever. So yes, it's been very, very impressive. And of course, this system can be loaded up with 24 drives for increased performance, uh, increased speed, so you can probably put as many client computers onto the system as you have ports on your switch available. It's quite a spectacular unit.